What's up everybody? It's Chase with Energy to Conquer and today is day 37 on my experimental journey to increasing my energy, my mental clarity, and my overall focus. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below if you're getting anything out of this. That'll help me reach more people with this content. But today guys, I just wanted to make a short video and just kind of step into the common sense corner so to say um, of how to increase our energy and how this comes back to a cellular level and you know this week's all about doing the breathing exercises i went over yesterday if you haven't seen that video day 36 go back and check that one out i kind of go over the breathing exercises uh, last week we talked about the salads i'm still eating two salads a day increased alkalinity um, and before there's other videos where I was talking about, I guess, increasing your heart rate and your circulation, kind of get your blood flowing to, so your, so your muscles can get the nutrients that they need. But really that's a cellular level. Your cells can get the nutrients they need, and then you can flush the toxins and just all that stuff's going on. So guys like the energy game with increasing your energy, even increasing your strength. I mean, if you're weight training, if you're doing any kind of strength training, even endurance training, like all this stuff just breaks down to a cellular level it's all comes down to a, a cell level and it comes to cell health like you've got to think on a cellular level when it comes to health and how do we give our cells the the nutrition and everything that they need to thrive and put them in a thriving environment yesterday i talked about otto warburg and how his study conducted that cancer thrives in low oxygen high acidic environment and you know in order for your cells to thrive obviously that's not a a place where or that's not a condition that cells can thrive in it's a place where cancer which is a mutation of a cell basically the cell i guess somewhat dies and mutates um, i'm not 100 percent what goes on there but it's a mutinous cancer is a mutation of the cells on a cellular level but if those cells were healthy if they was able to flush the toxins uh, and didn't have those build up of toxins and the cell could repair and heal itself it would not mutate and so that's not what this is about but this is about energy and just kind of that common sense if you want more energy if you want more strength then you've got to take care of your body on a cellular level which means getting your cells the oxygen they need even when it comes to clarity right this mental clarity and focus if you're having concentration problems you've got to get your brain the oxygen that it needs you've got to get the blood flow that it needs and you've got to get the nutrients right you've got to get the minerals um, the vitamins really the minerals which is the electrolytes um, and, and i'm going to do a video on that as well and just kind of the the i guess electric that comes from the um from the i guess the minerals that's coming from like there's simple tests you can do and it'll actually show it uh, which is crazy when you look at it and it sounds like some crazy stuff and i'm not getting into no crazy spiritual energy that's not my thing I, that's not me i'm talking about real provable like physical energy like a battery energy and so when you're given these your batteries like you get into neutrons and protons like there's positive charges there's negative charges you've got to give your body what it needs so when you get your electrolytes off like that's part of what's going on is your body is and it's the reason you're getting cramps and your muscles start spazzing and doing different things it's because your electrolytes are off it's because it's it's a it's an electric problem right like you've got just a little bit of electricity in your in your body and so you know you can look that stuff up that's not some crazy stuff like that's just science that's provable science you know your body is is operating on a very small electrical frequency that's why whenever you do it um i guess have a heart or your heart stops breathing one of the things they do is a defibrillator it's electric charge to shock your body and shock your heart back into rhythm the pacemaker right that's just a shock right it's, it's a it sends electric shock to kind of get your heart back in rhythm a very mild one uh, so anyways guys you can look that stuff up and so my big thing today is you've got to take care of your body on a cellular level and if you get the cellular level right and you get it number one the nutrients it needs and you get the blood flow to deliver it the nutrients and and, and the oxygen that it needs right all this stuff that it needs it's getting through the blood which comes from a lot of different things which is movement 
and, and kind of increasing your heart rate. That's the reason the exercise is so important, whether it's cardio, whether it's intervals, whether it's strength training, which is really a form of interval training. You've got to do something to get that heart rate up so you can kind of get that new blood and kind of get those new, new nutrients that's in there and get them flowing. And also that helps get rid of the toxins to your lymphatic system. And it goes through all that, guys. And so I say all this to say, you've got to start thinking on a cellular level because if you don't have the energy in your cells, your, your muscles are going to be fatigued. You ain't got the, the energy in your brain, right? And your, your thoughts are going to be cloudy. It's going to be fatigued. If you ain't got, you know, what's your cells need here or in your arms, whatever it is. Like on some days you go to work out and you're just gassed. You know, your cells are deprived of what they need or either they're in recovery mode. But if you've not been doing any hard workouts and your cells are just kind of tired, like when you get this right, you're going to wake up and you're just going to like, you want to do something like you've got this extra energy in your muscles. Or sometimes when you go do weight training, it's like you've got this stored energy and you're just, you're just ready to go, right? You're like a horse in the gate, ready to go for a run on the racetrack, right? You're just, you're just pumped up and ready to go. And it's like, you've got this reserve of energy. And how you get that is you've got to take care of your body on a cellular level. So guys, that's all I got for you today is start thinking on a cellular level. What do your cells need? They need oxygen. They need nutrients. You know, there's vital, vital minerals that you need, electrolytes, those sorts of things, you know, and you've got to have the blood flow to deliver all this so your cells can, you know, they can, I guess, get the nutrients they need. They can repair the cells if they need whatever it is they need to do, flush the toxins. And, and all that is kind of all intermixed in together. You can't just have one part of it. You've got to get all of it together. And you're never, I don't care what you're doing. You can just do diet. You know, you can just do workout. Like you, you can do individual pieces of these and you're never going to max out your energy. And you're probably never going to feel 100% like you're firing on all cylinders until you put all of these together they all work together in unison and it's not going to happen overnight but you've got to start thinking this way and you've got to start taking care of your body this way and just use some common sense and think on a cellular level right the next great super fruit or the next great whatever it is they're going to advertise on tv and in magazines this this super peel or this fruit or this medication is not what your body's been lacking right you've got to get back to a cellular level and give your body what it wants. If you want it to thrive, if you want it to give you the energy, if it wants to give you the mental focus, the clarity, all these things that we're all chasing after, um, you, you've got to start thinking on a cellular level. So that's all I've got today. Hope you guys have a blessed one.